gosh, that looks funny today. Okay, there we go. I was going to say there's a little dirt on there. Okay, um, so hello guys. I uh, hope you guys are doing well. I'm sorry it's been a while since I've been on YouTube. Um, I've got my hair wrapped up today because it is just so crazy. Um, it's been so hot. My hair is so frizzy and unmanageable and, uh, anyway. <laughs> so I went ahead and put a head wrap over it today. I've got a parade to go to today, um, for my kids. Um, so, yeah, they're just gonna have to see me in a head wrap. <laughs> but anywho, I thought I'd go ahead and do a video before I went ahead and, um, did the mommy thing today. And, um, I just wanted to do a quick video on, well, I'm gonna do two videos. I'm gonna do a video on... A question that I received on YouTube um, recently uh, somebody asked me a question about how do you how do you know what to go to in your Bible or how do you study the Bible and um, I thought about this question a lot because I've been paying attention to myself and what I've been doing because I mean Bible study has always been kind of natural to me so I've just never really thought about the method or what I do behind Bible study. Um, and so I kind of been paying attention to myself the last couple of days or week, I guess the last week, cause I've been spending a lot of time with Jesus. I always do anyway, but it's been really intense this week. And, um, I've been paying attention to how I've been doing my study. And honestly, what I do most of the time is Sometimes I pray, sometimes I don't. Sometimes God drops a scripture into my spirit and I'll go to that scripture. And a lot of times it'll be the scripture that, you know, was for me that day. Um, but sometimes I don't get that nudge from the spirit and, um, you know, I want to read my Bible. So what I do is I just kind of open up my Bible. And um, like I said, sometimes I pray over it, sometimes I don't. Most of the time I do prayfully ask God to open up my heart. Um, open up my spirit, my mind, and help me to understand your word in the way that you want me to, um, whether it be for my edification or for teaching or whatever it might be. Um, but I'm always getting to know, I'm always with the intention of getting to know God in the scriptures is what I, I'm i doing my Bible study for. But I open up my Bible, and let's just say I open it. I'm just going to get one of my Bibles. This is an old Bible. Um, let's just say I, you know, randomly open up to, right now I opened up to Nehemiah. And then I'll ask God if I don't know where to start or what I'm reading. So this is Nehemiah. Um, this is an old Bible, so excuse it. Um, and I'll just kind of skim through it and, and I'll ask God, where do you want me to read? And usually he points me right to where I need to read and say if I don't have somewhere or guidance, I'll just start at the beginning. And I'll ask God to ask, and I'll ask God to tell me, or to open my heart to what He wants me to see within what I'm reading. So it's always come natural to me. Um, I can just open up a random spot, and God will speak to me in a random spot. It's it's crazy. I mean, just as long as you're seeking to know God and to learn His Word, you can start anywhere. Just open your Bible is my thing. You know, don't be afraid to just dive in anywhere. I know that some people are so analytical and they want to go from the beginning, you know, read the Bible from the beginning to the end or read the be or read chapter by chapter or um, everybody has different study methods. But I'm a random person. I always go with what my heart tells me to go to. I don't have a method or a steady way of doing it. Um like I said, most of the times I just open up my Bible and God speaks to me with whatever I open up to. Um, and that's just the way that, that God does my spiritual Bible study. Um, and then I have my notebook. I have my note. I always have my notebook and I always write down what speaks to me or what calls out to me or what God is teaching me in those word in, in his word. Um, sometimes it's at the beginning of a chapter. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's at the middle. Sometimes it's at the end. Sometimes it's somewhere random sometimes he puts it in my spirit but I always I think the thing that God wants you to do is open up his Bible to have a relationship with him as long as you're seeking to um, get in his word and as long as you're seeking him in his word and you're seeking and you're just putting in the effort I think is what is is the point then God can teach you anything he wants to out of anywhere in the Bible um, that's just my theory on it 
that's what's always worked for me. Um, but I think that the reason why God wanted me to tell you that is to encourage you because I know that there's a lot of people, even when I first was in my walk or whenever I first started my walk, I was intimidated by the Bible. I didn't know where to begin. I didn't know how to do it. I didn't know. And then I was searching all kinds of YouTube videos and this person is telling me to do it this way. This person is doing telling me to do it this way. Um, I know that a lot of people go by devotionals and excuse the mess behind me, but I am getting rid of these books. <laughs> But um, I'm just going to show you a couple of devotionals that I've used. But I'm going to be um, flat out honest with you. Devotionals don't work for me. I cannot just open up a devotional for some reason and then go to that scripture for that day and do the devotional. I don't know why, but um, it makes it feel more... It makes it feel like more I'm I'm doing a chore. I don't know I don't know how to explain it. I'm doing a chore and I'm getting it out of the way versus what God is trying to speak to me through the way that I that that I believe He's telling me to do it. I don't know if that makes any sense at all. But I'm going to recommend a few because a lot of people use devotionals. There's so many devotionals out there um, to help you to get into your words. So this might be an easier way for you, but I'm getting, I'm actually getting rid of these devotionals. I'm going to give them to the Goodwill. Um, I'm sorry, to the thrift store that I go to, um, because they just don't work for me. They don't work for me. I've tried so many different devotionals too, and they just don't work for me. But these are the ones that I've used throughout the years. Um, and this one is new day, new you. Um, it's a 366 devotionals for everyday life by Joyce Meyer. I love Joyce Meyer's books period. Um, but this is a devotional. I've gone through this. I've highlighted several areas and stuff that spoke to me. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend this one. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah. Um, this one was more, I guess, for like stress and stuff like that. Um, this is the Battlefield of the Mind devotional. This is 100 Insights That Will Change the Way You Think. This one's not really a biblical. I mean, she has verses in here, don't get me wrong, that you can go to. Um, but this is more about changing your mind. And she always lists a verse at the beginning of hers, usually. Um, but she's more, th this, this goes with her book, which, ah, uh, let me get it. <laughs> um, this is her Battlefield of the Mind book. Um, this is her bestseller. Um, and this is a good book. If you so these go hand in hand. If you want to go ahead and get the duo, um, but this was this is more of for you to get into your Bible kind of devotional. And I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. This is kind of random. <laughs> and then I've also got the Trusting God Day by Day 365 Daily Devotions by Joyce Meyer. Um, so this is the same style as her other one. She gives you a scripture at the beginning. Um, and then she gives you, she tells you a little bit about that scripture and how you should live your day, your life day by day. And then she always has a um, trust in him at the end of it. So I would write, this one's pretty. I like this one. This one's really pretty to look at. <laughs> but um, this is a good one as well. But um, if you're somebody that's struggling to get in to start with Bible study, I would definitely suggest a devotional. Um, but the devotional method just does not work for me. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I can't get into the devotions for some reason. Um, it just feels more like a list or a chore than me actually getting into the spirit and following what the spirit is telling me to do. Um, cause it's already mapped out for me versus the spirit speaking to me and what I should be able to, what I should be going to. Um, but I would suggest devotionals for a beginner. Whenever I was beginning, devotionals were a helpful tool. <laughs> But anyway, I hope this video was helpful. I hope this answered your question. And I'm going to go ahead and do a Bible collection video next. I just felt, I just feel like that would be a helpful tool as well. Because I remember when I was starting out in my walk, it was hard to choose a Bible. So I'm going to do that next. Um, so stay tuned for the next video. We'll see you until then.